In this video, you're going to learn an alternative to using closures in certain scenarios in ES6, this time using LED scoping. So we've got three buttons here with IDs 0, 1, and 2. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a for loop and attach an event to each button. So for, so we're going to initialize the variable i to 0 and we're going to use var here instead of let's we're going to come back to let's later so the condition is i less than 3 and every time we increment i by 1 so to select the button we're going to select it using its id and we're going to attach the event listener like this using a function expression so the function is just gonna do something like logging i so as you know if you run this and you click on any of these buttons the result is always going to be three so let's explain this and you can have that as a quick reminder because you already understand the reason why we're getting three so when you define the event here you are storing the function literally like that so the function is going to be stored like this okay and attached to each of those click events so when you call the function, once you click on the button, the function is going to look for the value of i, and it's going to look for it in the outer environment of the function. Now the outer environment of this function is the global scope, and that's where you're going to find the value of i. Now this function is looking for function for values in its outer environment so this function is also a closure by the way so technically it's a closure now the only value of i stored in the memory is the last one which is three all right so that's why we get three all the time now when covering closures we found a solution to this so the solution in es5 was to use a closure now the closure is going to be a new function let's call it f and this function returns a function so the function returned is the closure so return a function which is that one All right, so now this function is returning a closure. So now instead of running this code, we're going to run another piece of code where instead of storing a function expression, we store a function call, f of i. So now when defining the event, you are storing f of 0, f of 1, and so on. All right. So each of these functions return a closure, which is this function. And it's a closure because it's got access to the value of x in its outer environment. And every time you're going to have the right value of x, which is 0, 1, and 2. All right. So now let's save and try again. And now we get the correct values. All right. So that's how we used to do it in ES5. Now let's try with let. So this time 
we're going to run the same code we had at the beginning. But instead of var, we're going to use let. So this comments everything else. And let's save and try our code. And this time it is working without having to recourse to closures. So in ES6, I will get a new binding for every iteration of this loop. So what does it mean? So this means that every closure or every function is going to capture a different I. So every iteration basically creates a new lexical scope. So you get the correct value of I inside each of those scopes. Well, in ES5, we had only one closure capturing one value of I, which is the last one. So that's the difference with ES6's let. So this solves a lot of problems. So you don't have to use closures anymore when doing a loop like that. You get the correct value straight away by using let.